what is going on guys good morning it is 5 47 a.m on sunday april 15th i think something like that and we are headed to thunder valley to race today it's the season opener of srac what's srac dad's sport, sport riders association of colorado boom there you go so obviously dad's right next to me again i always say this don't know if you can see him with the gopro setting but um he actually stayed the night at the apartment so we could get up here and he wouldn't have to have the hour and a half drive up to lakewood so we're headed over there, um, racing two classes, 450B and 25 plus B. So we're gonna be second moto and 22nd moto, which is the last moto of the day. But uh, gonna be a long day, but we're gonna make the most out of it. Hopefully have a good time out there and hang out with all our friends. So I'm uh, gonna get on the interstate and rip on over to Thunder Valley now and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Pits are packed, so oh. we're pretty far down. But um, track should be sick. A lot of people. At least it's not too cold. It's chilly, but it's not too bad. So, got to make our way up to go uh, sign up for our two classes and get changed out and get ready for practice. Because practice is going to start at seven, and we are at the first practice. So, got to get a move on. Here we are at sign up for Thunder Valley. paperwork and then get in line to pay. Nice and early. <laughs> my card, I guess. Olszewski, O-L-S. Yep, all right, thank you very much. Thank you. Quick reminder, as you guys all know, I am also riding today. Good morning. Seventy bucks to ride two classes seems like kind of a rip off. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick here, I need to add an interjection. Yes, seventy dollars is a lot of money just to run two classes, but I was able to do so thanks to the support of my Patreon supporters. And then George Byrne, who's not a Patreon supporter, he said he would pay for one of my classes, so he actually PayPal'd me thirty-five dollars for one of the classes. So thank you so much, George, and thank you so much to my Patreon supporters who. Um, contribute money to the channel so I can afford to go to races, continue to ride, do all that fun stuff and bring you guys videos. So I just want to throw that in. Yes, it's a lot of money, but really it's you guys who are funding this and making this happen. So really appreciate everything. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much to George. And thank you so much just to you guys. Even if you don't have a dime to donate or you don't want to, totally fine. Appreciate you watching. Um, yeah, anyway. It's a big rush. You're up in like 10 minutes. For practice? Yeah. Alright guys, we got changed out real quick because uh, we're first practice, it's coming up real soon here. Gonna be a little chilly for it, they're watering the track, it's gonna be muddy, it's gonna be slick. Be good for the races, but this first practice is gonna be a little rough, so um, a little chilly out here. Nerves are definitely flowing. Park down here in the privateer pits all the way down at the back of Lakewood. You can see we're on the very south end of the track, but um, to be honest, the worst part about this is they gave like all the porta potties all the way up at the front, and we don't have like any restrooms. We don't have a camper, so 
if you got to go to the bathroom, you got to bolt on out there, which is just yeah. annoying. Whatever. So, um, gonna get the bike started up here in a second. Finish, uh, you know, putting on the helmet. Gonna wear the hoodie definitely for this first practice, but uh, probably even see my breath here. So, it's gonna be good though. Got Mike over here, Big Cat Racing. Got the the rig. Got Mike's two bikes. So, good stuff. All right, guys, we are on our way up to practice right now. So, first practice of the day, A's and B's, racing B's. So, that's me. Definitely chilly. The sun not over yet. It is, it's cold, it's cold. Everyone's gonna be wearing hoodies and stuff. My hands are already cold. anyone right now in practice here. Up here for a second, warm my hands. So cool. All right, practice one's over. I never really run too well in practice, so I just kind of took it easy. Got the track down a little bit, even though I know the track. It is cold, sun is bright, can't see coming down any of the hills or anything. Be good for the race though. So, that's that. All right guys, we're in from practice now and um, warmed up a little bit. Track was all right, um, really cold, and then you got the sun just blazing in your eyes, so that's always nice. Um, made the most of it though, I wasn't pushing too hard. I'm never really too fast in practice or anything. One thing that um, you guys are gonna notice, I did get a whole shot device. Dalton helped me um, pick one of these up. However, I have an aftermarket fort guard and it's really thick, so it's not coming through far enough to grab the, um, the ring. So we're not gonna be running the whole shot device now. We've tried many different, numerous things, talked to different people, and it's just not catching. There's, there's no way to make it catch in the current form. So um, we're gonna do some work on it, but today we won't be using the launch, launch device, uh, whatever it's called, Pro Launch, but that's all right. I've never used one before, so another day with that one won't be a big deal. So just wanted you guys to know that in case you see it on the bike that um, not using it. Alright guys, so we're 11th gate pick, we got 21 people in our class, 450B. We going at the same time as 450A, we're just going to have a separate gate than them. 
Okay. Okay, he's got bike problems. He says the bike's pulling. I hope there's not a problem with the forks. He pulled up and I tried to help him a little bit, but Seems to be looking okay. Awesome, man. Well, we'll have to watch out for you in the 65s, all right? Cool, man. Thanks for saying hey. All right, guys. We just finished up 450B Moto 1. Definitely could have gone better. I do suppose it could have gone worse. Got a pretty bad start, which I was expecting just because I, I don't have a lot of starts. A little timid off the gate, but made up a little bit of ground in the first corner. And we're just getting roosted all the heck. And then... Um, quarter of a lap in hit the step up and I took a inside line and just washed the front end just a silly weird mistake went down got myself all muddy got up in last place and then every time I was hitting a jump my bike the front bars were turning to the right like if I turned them to the right it felt like they were like locked and didn't want to come back so it was kind of throwing me off kind of scaring me after the first lap Pulled over, talked to my dad to see if we could look at anything on it. Couldn't really see anything, so I went out, finished the moto. Of course, by the time I pulled back on the track, the A rider said I already passed me, so I was already a lap down. But um, at least rode out the whole moto. Um, that was the first time that old Red Ski's been on the ground, so uh, that's a shame, but it had to happen sometime. Uh, first race on the Honda, crash and get dead last, but that's all right. We finished up the moto, and um, the rest of the day I'll just be up there, uphill from there. So. Um, not how I wanted to start the day off, but that's all right, you know, stuff happens, weird mistakes. Um, Dad's over there now, scraping off the bike and um, looking to see if he can figure out anything with the front brake and why it's pulling to the right and just what's going on, but uh, it's fr frustrating for sure, but um, got that out of the way. So now we have the whole day to sit back and wait because we were Moto 2 and now we're going to be Moto 22. So. Got a while to wait until that one, then we'll go back out there and um, have, a, have a better showing. All right guys, it is 12.37. We've been waiting for about 
three hours, 15 minutes since our last moto and uh, getting ready to go out for 25 plus moto one, last moto of the first motos, whatever, if that makes sense. So I'm um, gonna head over to staging now and uh, hopefully have a better run than 450B. Daniel, get around him now. Good job, good job. Daniel following Will. Get after him, Daniel. Nice. Get after him. Good job. This is the end of the first lap. Go, go, go. Go hard. Go, Daniel, go. You're all over both of them. Get them now. Just finished up with a 25 plus B Moto 1 and um, I'm so tired. That was a long moto. I'm winded, wiped out. The track was rough. 
It wasn't really that long of a moto. It was like 15 minutes about, according to my watch. I started a little bit early before we took off the, on the gate, and then when I got back, so it was probably like 12 or 13, but I am wiped out. Um, wish I could have done better. My The first lap, my contacts were starting to kind of fall out of my eyes. I was trying to blink them back into position. When I got off the bike, one of my contacts was actually sitting down on my cheek, so couldn't see that first lap. Will went flying by me, and I was trying to challenge up for him. I was on him for a bit and then lost touch with him, but... I don't know. Just kind of wish I would have done better. Just, I don't know. I guess maybe I shouldn't put so much pressure and stuff on myself, but it was uh, tough out there. Now they're doing track work and stuff. Then we got to go out for 450B, which I'm not excited for Moto 2. And then another four hour wait. And then uh, finish up with 25 plus Moto 2. So, gonna get a little bit of food, gonna get some water, and uh, get ready for 450B. Alright guys, 450B Moto 2, wearing my glasses under my goggles, which I've never done before. Had pretty much last game pick from my finish in Moto 1, so low expectations. Get out there, be safe, have some fun. Much better start. Good job, Daniel. Whoa! Kind of skip down that downhill, but that's okay. Get after him, Daniel. Go around the outside. There you go. Power on. Good job. Good job. That was nice, Daniel. Good job. Right smart. Daniel, get after him. You're doing really good. Really good. Oh yeah, that's, that's the Daniel we're used to seeing. Oh wow, <laughs> that was cool. Charging. Keep charging, Daniel. Find some energy. You gotta be tired.
hard, Daniel. Run hard. You're looking really good. Much, much, much better moto. I actually had a pretty good start for once in my life. I'm not saying I like top tended or anything, but uh, at least I was running with people. I had some battles. Lap by Fitch last lap. Kind of want to say thank you, Bobby Fitch, because I was not ready to do another lap. <laughs> that really lifted my spirits of the day. I was really bummed about it from that first moto. That one was worlds better. No matter where I finished, that was a much better moto. So grateful for that. Glad I stayed up and uh, stayed out of trouble on the first corner. Rode my own race and. Uh, even made a pass or two and that was a good one so now we wait it is let's see turn this all off max heart rate 191 that's not too bad it's 220 so we'll probably be racing our last moto at like shoot six maybe a little bit, bit earlier than that but uh I'm gonna change out and sit for a few so much better I'm much happier with that i just pulled off and looked at my gopro so I wiped it once first lap, so I don't know how much of that you guys saw, but the whole race I was kind of in battles, so I didn't take the time to wipe it, I'm sorry, but probably not have much footage from, from that moto. So we've uh, recovered some since that 450B moto, changed out gear just for the last moto since the other one was all muddy and we got quite a bit of time. So um, just talking to some friends back at the pit. I should have shown them on the GoPro, I probably will, or on the vlog, but David's here, who is one of my Patreon supporters who you guys should know of because um, he's funded a few ride days. I've mentioned him before, but um, so my dad and I are just gonna walk up and see if they posted standings, see where I finished up in that second moto. But um, yeah, got quite a ways to wait until that final moto still, but I'm in a much better mood now. So that's good. So for um, 450B, we ended up 14th with that poor first moto, 22 and seven. And um, there was someone who oh, did not start. So, much better there. finish here. So, All right, guys, we're getting ready to head up to staging for the second 25 plus moto. 5:45. Been a long day, so go knock this out. I uh, hope it goes well. Yep, six o'clock, and we're on the line, getting ready to take off. So, final mo moto of the day. Definitely been a long day, but should be a good one. We're pretty far outside, but just get a nice safe start and work it from there so probably could be further over probably a good idea to be further over but um sometimes on this channel we don't really do good ideas so just uh send it from here we were just told by the starting guy that we're gonna do one gate rather than the two gates where the a's leave first and then b's and c's go one gate everybody not that this is like a huge class but uh everyone going at once so definitely not going to be getting the start against people like uh fitch who race pro and stuff but um do what we can make some smart decisions and go from there okay last moto of the day and daniel's last moto just like before 25 plus but the a's will be on the first gate as usual daniel will be on the second gate he's lined up on our far right as you can see so here go the a's oh it goes everybody okay something changed Look at him go, he's going good. Good job, Daniel, go around him. Good job. I hope we didn't go down. 
They got flags. Oh, is that Daniel? Oh no, did I miss it? Dang it. Dang it, and I missed it. Dang it. I'm sorry, Daniel. Poor guy, darn it. I didn't even see it happen. I'm sorry, I must have missed it, guys. Poor Daniel, darn it. Sure wish I would have seen what happened. I don't know if I got it for you guys because I couldn't find him in the lineup. Looking good. Just darn it. Whatever happened. He's not giving up, he's still running pretty hard. One more lap, Daniel, good job. He's staying with it, he's riding hard anyway. Huh, I wonder if something happened. I wonder if he has a flat tire. Can't quite tell. Long race day, but it's over. Oh. When he crashed, he, he must have stopped to pick up his pro shot. I've got it now. That's a drag. Poor Daniel. Try it hard, guys. Try it hard. Sure wish I knew what happened. I sure hope it, I got some of it, because... I couldn't figure out where he was at in the pack. Good job, Daniel. You rode hard today. I was in front of you guys. I had that inside. I was like, I'm just going to send it. And yeah. it just slid, dude. Yeah, I saw oh. you. You got kind of close to him and you start sliding out. And then it looks like it just bucked back. back. Yeah. I got it all on GoPro. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. If you don't mind, I yeah. don't know if you can download it or not, but um, because I'm not 100 percent sure I got it, because I, I got kind of confused of where you're at on that first lap. I, I had a perfect angle of it because I was right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, your bike was just kept sliding further and further towards the middle. I was like, no. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't collect anyone else oh. off that idiot. I got land lucky when I landed, I kind of low slid on it, yeah. low sided on it. So, That's good. yeah, they're going bad. It went worse than it was, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's how it goes sometimes, man. Where'd you finish up in that one? I guess second. Nice. Oh, see nice. You. Good job. Yeah. I, was, I was ahead of Ashcraft and I couldn't see anybody in front of me. Yeah. But I know that number 50, 50 guy was ripping. gone. Yeah. Cool. Well, well, thanks. Man. Good riding out there. Well, thanks, thanks for coming man. and checking. Glad you're all right. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished up Moto 2 of 25 plus B, C, whatever. Um, my GoPro died, so I'm recording this on my phone now, but I uh, had a pretty good get off in that one. Um, got off the start. We, we did one gate instead of two, like normal, and um, I had my buddy Will and then this guy Ashcroft or whatever right in front of me, and they were the two guys who beat me in Moto 1 that I felt I should have been, been able to pass and beat. And so they were in front of me and I was like, I, I'm gonna send it, or they, they were right there. And I was like, I pulled Will up the hill and then Ashcraft, I had him on the inside. 
coming to that step down, I was like, I don't wanna just let down off the step down and have him jump past me. So I just went for it, uh, grabbed a handful, tried to huck it, and Will was right behind me. He's gonna send me the footage, but he probably won't get it to me in time for me to work on this video, we'll see. But um, he said my back end slid to the right as I was taking, as I was about to take off, and then it whipped back left. So I hit the step up, just totally whipped off to the left from being so dry up there, and um, landed, and luckily I low slid. And uh, if I would have high sided or low sided, if I would have high sided, I would have went up and over and it probably would have been really bad. But I low slided, low sided, it's really hard for me to say. And uh, luckily just slid, got right back up on the bike and kept going. My pro shot mount um, popped off when that happened. So the GoPro popped off. Of course, I recovered it. Don't know what even recorded on it. So I don't even know if you guys will see footage. And um, so three out of my four motos today, the GoPro definitely wasn't recording at the end of the moto. So that's a shame, but work with what we've got on it. My dad's not sure if he got footage of the crash either, so, but what a <laughs> super bummer, but um, I'm not frustrated um, about the finish. I mean, I came in dead last, of course, but um, I'm just thankful that I'm okay from that because that was a pretty hard get off. It could have been definitely a lot worse, so I'm thankful that all my protective gear saved me and kept me okay and everything. We were able to ride the rest of the motor. I finished all the laps and everything and uh, rode the rest of it and was jumping everything and stuff, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start loading up here and then get on out of here. All right, guys, so I showed this earlier, but uh, my GoPro died, so I'm not sure if we saw it, but this was from 450B. So I went 22 because I had the crash and then in last place and then seventh place. So I'm very, very proud of that seventh. Rode pretty well for a 14th overall. I'll take it, that seventh makes me feel good. And then um, 25 plus, pretty much as we know, um, I got a fifth in the first moto and then sixth and these two guys DNF, Mike was one of them. But um, so I ended up um, sixth overall, which uh, could have been better because I was trying to run with second if, um, if I would have made that pass stick and not gone down. But that's how it goes sometimes. So um, got the truck and bike, got dad. We're gonna get on the road and get on home now. We are rolling out of Thunder. Oh, we got on the road a few ago, but um, 6.54, we are at the track for over 12 hours. So um, I try not to complain about it too much lately, but in the past I've talked about how it's a long day and I put it on Snapchat, you guys probably saw, but that I was gonna be last moto and it makes for a long day. And that's what I was talking about. We are at the track for 12 hours. Um, it was a long day, but um, dad and I are heading over to Sonic, gonna get some food feel like I deserve it not because I rode exceptionally well but at least I got out there and did it so I'm gonna treat myself to the biggest root beer possible uh, but I'm excited for that but all in all you guys I just want to say thank you so much for watching I hope you did enjoy um, I do feel kind of bad that I wasn't able to get better finishes for you guys so I apologize for that but I hope you enjoyed everything and hopefully you got enough GoPro footage like I said three out of the four motos the GoPro was not running by the end of the moto so I don't know when it cut off or anything I don't know if you guys saw the crash in the first moto or if you guys saw the crash in the fourth moto but um, obviously you will already know that by watching now but um, yeah thankful I'm all right after that big get off in that last moto um, glad that everyone else was okay some people did get hauled away in the ambulance today so um, wish the best for them I hope they're all right but any last thoughts dad you want to throw in uh, no, it, it is a shame. The finishes were kind of a shame, but I, I tell you what, guys, he laid it all, le left it all on the track. He laid it all out there and rode hard. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, always proud of your ride, no matter how you do. But you really did leave it all out there. Yeah, yeah I, I guess in hindsight, in that last mode of that crash, I could have checked up and not jumped down the step up and played it safe and tried to catch up with those guys and race them. But you know, it was just in the moment, and I just went for it. And, Hindsight's always 2020, and I just wanted to get ahead of them. That's all, all there is to it. But again, just glad we're all right. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And as always, until next time, take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. Talk to you later.